Role play, yes? Well, let's first broach the big ideas behind role playing. By role playing, we mean to say the game of assuming a position or a personality different than one's own. It has an element of acting in it. Theater, as we say in my circles. And theater is very useful at getting people holistically involved in the subject matter. Mind, body, and soul. Role-playing fits very well at my personal acquaintance theory of education. Or, or haven't you read my book? But you see, dude, some folks just don't like the idea of acting. So you kind of have to sneak it in on the side. Say, like, if you were a public speaking prof, and then you had your students get into a circle, and you had them share their most embarrassing wipeouts. Yeah, dude. You could have them swap stories so that they'd be role-playing someone else's story. Yeah. Role-playing can be a really comfortable way to get your feet wet. Whoa, I totally didn't mean to say that. <laughs> yeah, Dungeons & Dragons is like interactive literature. Like, it can be just as deep as a good fantasy story, but it lets you decide which storylines you want to play. But even if things don't get hardcore, the gaming aspect of Dungeons & Dragons is, like, really great for contemplation and, like, collaboration. And Mom has no idea that I play. <laughs> this isn't going on YouTube, is it?